Hello everyone. Today I will be talking about a fascinating new topic, the frozen light. We all know that light travels at an incredible speed of 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. But what if I told you it could be stopped, trapped within four walls? Sounds impossible, right? Yet scientists have achieved this mind-bending feat, freezing the very essence of motion itself. Let's dive into this fascinating concept of frozen light and uncover its deeper connections to our reality. Light, the fastest thing in the universe. It moves at an unbreakable speed, shaping time, defining space, illuminating the dark. It is untouchable, unstoppable, or so we thought. What if light, the very essence of motion, could be frozen? In a world where everything must move, Italian scientists did the unthinkable. They stopped light itself. Using the coldest substance known, we forced the uncatchable into stillness. But in doing so, we uncovered a paradox. If light can be trapped, what else can? Light and time are intertwined. To stop one is to manipulate the other. When we froze light, we glimpsed a world where time itself faltered. A world where seconds stretched infinitely, where existence itself seemed to hesitate. Could this be the key to understanding reality? Even light, the master of motion, is powerless against the black hole. Here, time slows, space folds, and the very fabric of reality collapses. If light, which defines our existence, can be swallowed, what does that say about the nature of our own reality? In quantum physics, the mere act of observing changes reality. A photon can be in two places at once, until we look. If our perception alters light, does it alter reality itself? And if light can be frozen, could we be stuck in a version of time we do not yet comprehend? Physics hints at unseen dimensions, folded into the fabric of existence. Could these be places where light moves differently, where time is not linear? If such dimensions exist, what else might be trapped within them, waiting to be freed? If light, the symbol of freedom, can be held captive, are we truly free? Do we move by choice? Or are we following paths already defined by unseen forces? What if we are bound by laws we cannot perceive, rules set before we even began? Everything we do, every thought, every action, is powered by energy. Like light, this energy moves, vibrates, flows. But is it truly ours to control? Or are we, like photons, simply reacting to forces greater than ourselves? We observe, we think, we feel. But who is the we that watches? Science cannot yet explain consciousness, the awareness behind our thoughts. What if consciousness itself is frozen energy, bound to a body, waiting for something more? Science and philosophy have always searched for answers in different ways. But what if the truth lies in the middle, the frozen light, the trapped consciousness? Are they telling us something we've long ignored? The body moves, but the soul longs to transcend. Just as frozen light is bound by atoms, could the soul be bound by flesh? If light can be freed from its stillness, can the soul be freed from its confinement? Perhaps our limits are not real. Perhaps, like frozen light, we only need to find the right conditions to awaken. When the body dissolves what remains, could the energy we call consciousness finally return to its true form? Beyond the body, beyond time, beyond frozen states, there is freedom. The same energy that was once trapped is now limitless. And maybe, just maybe, that is the journey we were always meant to take. Who watches? Who sets the laws of light, time, and life? What if we are not alone in this search? What if someone or something already knows the answers? In the end, the greatest discovery may not be what we see, but what we have yet to understand. If light can be frozen and freed, perhaps so can we. And if there is something beyond this existence, perhaps we are already on our way to finding it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon with a new fascinating topic.